Uh, some of our effects range products. Now I've been really, really waiting for these to come out for ages because I love to uh, work with these types of types of kind of mixed media, almost mixed media, just really creative products that are going to give us such a massive scope for uh, our makes in the future. So uh, without any further ado, uh, we are presenting the 3D adhesive here. So uh, this adhesive is different to your normal adhesive, uh, sort of PVA glue. Uh, in its viscosity, so uh, that, I love that word <laughs> again, viscosity, what a brilliant word. Um, what I mean by this is that you can create fantastic definition with this, uh, the dimension, it's a bit more viscous and thick, it holds its um, shape when you build it over itself. For instance, I've got uh, this here, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a dried and set bit of this 3D adhesive. Now you can see all those, fan you know, just the dimension alone, but all those fantastic organic marks that have been made uh, with our texture tool when I laid this out. Now, the great thing about this is once you have applied it, it's going to stay tacky enough to use with our other effects project uh, products. Um, indefinitely really it, it's not going to lose its tack you can leave it to dry and then you can wait to put the uh, the other products on there now and that's what we are going to do today so the other products i'm talking about here are our metallic flakes here so we have them in our rose gold we have them in the gold and we also have them in the silver. Now these match our opulent cardstock colours, which is always handy just in bringing everything together and, and making them these makes cohesive. Uh, so we have those three colours at the moment. Um, now these these flakes, they are, we, we also have the, the metallic foils. These are different in that you're going to get that texture with these. So it's a different sort of texture that you're going to be working with. You can see that it's got those lovely kind of wrinkled foil textures. Now they are going to give a really lovely detailed uh, image and they're going to shine as well, but it's just a slightly different effect here. So um, I'm going to show you how we're going to use these. Now this is just a really organic mark that I've made. This was just with the texture tool, just brushed it across and then I've waited for this to set. Now let me show you how we are going to use Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to use uh, the tubs at the minute because what is a really good idea with these? Now I've taken these Tupperware boxes. Now the reason I've done this is because the foil is very light and it likes to move around with uh, the moving air. So I like to keep it all contained in something like this where I can just take it, I can apply it to my make and the, the excess is just going to fall back in. So another great thing to use with this is our um, another one of our tools which is the I'm forgetting the word for it the glitter catcher it's not very good is it so I'm using the rose gold metallic flakes here and what's also great about these these flakes is that you don't have to just stick to the one uh, color we can bring in some of those other colours. So I'm going to stop there with the rose gold. And I'm going to bring on my brush, if I can find it. No, I can't find it at the minute. So I'm just going to bring off the excess here with my finger. Oh, here's my brush. And I've also got this nice little square sponge. So I'm just going to show you the difference between these. I just add a little bit more. As you can see, it's still tacky and it's taking on those metallic flakes. And just look, that effect on its own, especially against this black, is really coming out there, and it's a really nice kind of flaky effect you've got there. Now to rub off the excess, I would recommend either just a dry paintbrush to get those bits back in there, or to make it extra easy and add a bit of kind of precision, just a nice square sponge like this. Now, as I said, I'm going to bring in a different colour. So I think I'm going to go rose gold and silver. I will put my lid back on these. I don't want any of these flakes escaping. 
and then here we go. So it's a good idea to push them down just any areas where they've not adhered to the adhesive. And just look how tacky the uh, 3D adhesive still is, even though this has been drying all morning. This is completely workable. So there we are, just bringing in some of that extra foil there. So let me brush away the excess. And look at that. Now I could carry on going with this until every single inch of that glued area was completely covered, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I absolutely love this effect and I will be using it in time to come. So, the next thing I'm gonna show you is very similar, but what I've done is I've created, using the 3D adhesive, and a stencil. Now this is from Tim Holtz Mixed Media number one. I've used uh, the die to cut the stencil. I used a little bit of um, spray adhesive, readjustable spray adhesive just to, to hold that down. And then I've gone over with our texture tool and some of the 3D adhesive. And you, you just apply it over the, the mask. Now, if you wanna see how this is done, it would be a good idea to go back and watch Pete's video, because uh, Pete's done an overview of all of these products, kind of general overview, uh, and in that video, he actually creates a stencil like this. So if you wanna see how that's done, um, go and have a look at Pete's video. But while I've got this stencil, now it's nice and tacky, I'm going to start applying some of my metallic foil. Sorry, not metallic foil, the flakes. Now you can get very messy with it because at the end we're gonna to get to take off all of those excess bits that haven't adhered to the adhesive. I'm just gonna rub that in there. And I like to press it right down, add a bit of pressure to ensure that that's sticking. If you, you can choose with this product if you want complete full coverage and you can keep reapplying if you want, adding more pressure, or if you want that kind of distressed look where you're not going to get the full coverage on there. So I'm just take these little bits off and I can already see this coming together and just showing that die as a stencil. It looks really cool. There we are, just taking these bits. And just a little bit more, I'm going to grab a big bit here, just apply that. As I say, it can be messy, but it is fun. And if you use these Tupperware containers, then you're not going to waste any of your foils. There we are. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to brush these off like so. So just brushing away that excess. The stuff that's not adhered. And you can spend time doing this and get it really cleaned up if you want. And just look. There we are, that's much better. With a, with a firmer um, brush or a sponge like this you can really clean it. But I like this distressed look and just look at that. Now if I angle this in the light you're going to see that there is a texture to this because we've used those kind of crinkled foils there. So there's just one other use for it. Now I'm going to move on to a uh, more of a kind of home decor feel. We'll get some of this up. I'm gonna put it back in my container. Just we'll see how light it is. And I'm gonna bring on my painted bottle. So I've just taken this bottle. These are just a few ideas, really. I've, I've uh, painted this bottle with some lilac acrylic and I've applied, again using the texture tool, some of the 3D adhes adhesive around the outside here. 
Now you can see that some of this silver is actually stuck to that. So I am going to go with the silver again. I'm just going to apply some of it around here. And we're going to get this nice metallic band around here. Now this is great for a kind of home decor make. It's going to brighten your house up. And everywhere that the brush, the kind of, you can see the brush strokes or the, uh, the effects that I've made with the texture tool, you know, when it's thinned out, it's got those thinner areas and it's got the areas that I've left thick. Now it's all, it's going to take that on. And I love this broken effect here. So I'm going to take away some of this with my sponge and look at that. So if I bring this out here, you can just see that metallic band. Now I could take a different colour flake, now I could take maybe gold or rose gold and I could apply it to these areas where it hasn't taken it on. So we have that option as well. So that's a really cool idea. Now, this one is my favorite. Now I have a frame here. I've not applied any kind of 3D elements with the uh, adhesive this time. What I've done is I've actually used a paintbrush and gone over this whole thing with a thin layer of the 3D adhesive. Now, the adhesive is really great because when you paint it in a, kind of with a thin layer like this, it dries almost instantly and it's ready to use. So what I'm gonna do now is rather than kind of rubbing it in, I'm gonna press down the flakes. I'm gonna kind of sprinkle it over, keep pressing this down. Now, as I say, the adhesive has been set now for hours and hours but it's still tactile and ready for me to work with. Now, I'm just gonna brush off some of the excess there. Keep pressing that in. And if you, you know, you've got control over how hard you wanna press, or if you just want a kind of light dusting and that's a great idea as well. So I'll just do this corner here. Now I'm gonna move away from the gold. I'm gonna come in with some silver. Not silver, rose gold. I'm gonna go mad with this because I want to have rose gold, I want to have flakes of gold, areas of silver as well. And as you can see, it, it looks as though it's not gonna work as you're doing it. But what you'll find is once you go over with the, uh, you know, the dry brush and just get rid of the excess bits, you're gonna find something that you can be really proud of. And I'll show you the finished result in just a minute. Now I'm gonna come in with some silver and just start applying that. And anywhere that isn't covered, is going to take on that silver. So you're getting a nice even spread of all three of our colours of these metallic flakes. Now, I would just brush these off and I could carry on building this up. And then if I chose to, I could go back over with another coat of the 3D adhesive just to make sure that everything is fully stuck down. But if you just look at this corner, it's already looking really great. And I will show you the finished result. Now this is one that Pete has made earlier and he's had the time and taken the care to do it really well to a fantastic finish. But again, it's just using the same things that I've used. Now this is fantastic. I love this frame. As soon as I saw this frame in the design room, in the design room I gen genuinely said to Pete, this looks like something that you would see in a high-end store and you know spend about 25 30 pound on i think it's absolutely lovely this is pete's lovely daughter poppy that we've got in this nice frame and she looks really cute in there 
Okay, so this is the uh, the frame idea. Now, let me move on. So another way that you can use this, these flakes, is not with the glue. You can use these flakes with our adhesive sheets. So it's just another great way that this product really kind of aligns with all the rest of our existing products. Now, I've created here, just using some of the gold flakes, a bit of uh, an organic spread of the uh, 3D adhesive here. And all I want to do is I've taken, so this is from the fluttery die set, um, just two of the kind of bold butterfly backgrounds here. Two different ones and what I've done is I've taken a sheet of a, an adhesive sheet and I've applied it to the back of this card here. Now, oh actually this is to the front, it doesn't really matter because it's the same on both sides but this is the front of the card that I plan to use here. Now I am going to take my big shot machine, my good old friend the big shot machine. And I'm going to place these butterfly elements on the top of the adhesive sheets because I want the, the adhesive side when I peel it off to be on top because that's what I'm going to be applying my metallic flakes to. So this is a great way of using it. Okay, I'll just pull it back through so it's on my side. And here we are. Get rid of my big shot. I'll move my bottle to one side. And here we are. So we've got these lovely butterfly elements here. I can prize that with a... Like so. Now, if I take the adhesive sheet off here, just uh, go, and, go and make yourselves a cup of tea while I uh, try and prise this off. Oh, there we go. Should have just used my nails. I'm going to take this one and I'll take this one as well. That's it. Should put the um, countdown clock music on it when I'm doing this. And. Now I've not brought with me a craft map, so but it doesn't matter because I'm just going to use a little post-it note here. It's got a bit of our luster wax on. Now I'm going to take some of these lovely flakes. Do you know what? I'll apply them in here. Now the adhesive sheets have a really strong adhesive on them, so they're going to take to it instantly. like so, but I want to leave some of the black just coming through, just because I like that effect. I'm going to go around the edges, make sure that all the definition's there. And there we have a lovely silvery butterfly, but with that added effect, I just look at the distressed look we're getting here. When we use these flakes, we, we have that added tactile element that just looks great. Now I'm going to bend my butterfly up and this, I'll stick it down with some of my double sided tape there. And I'm going to add this guy here and then I'm just going to apply the same technique to the other butterfly might leave a bit more black showing through this time and we'll just take the rest of that off so that's the beauty of it when you when you apply the adhesive sheet to a, a larger area you've got the rest of whichever color cardstock you're using to play around with once you're finished uh, stick this one here now if I was to finish this make I might add a sentiment somewhere but I just think that looks lovely on its own there. This is all just kind of fresh on white 
and we've got the, the lovely kind of distressed effect of the uh, metallic flakes on these surfaces. So there we are. Now, the last technique I would like to show you. So that, that te technique there, we've, we've gone through applying to home decor um, surfaces. We've used stencils. I've just applied it to our die cut pieces. So already uh, these, there's three you know, really great uses for these metallic um, flakes already. But there is one more. Now, as I just used this, that now anything that's adhesive, we're gonna be able to apply the flakes to. But what I love about it is you're gonna get that kind of broken effect. Now I'm gonna do a straight line across here. Now I might use an actual roll of the of um, double-sided tape just so I could get a perfectly straight line if I wanted that perfectly straight line. But I just love to show you how well these flakes are going to attach themselves to this line. And just look as I'm spreading it along. Now they are just attaching themselves for a really lovely broken, distressed line there. And what I'm trying to get across to you is the, the massive ease of use with these products. You know, don't, don't be afraid of them. They're, they're something that you can have so much fun with if you just, you know, buy them and just play around with them because they're so much fun. Now, obviously this looks like not much on its own, but this make I created earlier is just a lovely kind of mixed media style there. And I've used this tape effect here to create these gold bands with a stamp in the middle. So that is almost it from me. I'd like to show you some samples that we've used these foils with. Now here is a really cool home decor canvas where we use some of our um, 3D paste here. Uh, and 3D glue to, to create the, this raised surface here. And then we have used the flakes on a bit of the 3D adhesive that we've applied um, using the texture tool down here. So how great is that? Now here's a really big canvas. You might have to zoom out for this one. It's just really simple, but I used the flakes across here just with some adhesive to just add a bit of glitz to this kind of matte board canvas and I think it stands out really well. It's a really easy canvas to, to create as well. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, and one more big canvas. Actually, do you know what? This was actually not created with the flakes. This was using, uh, this is from Pete's video that we, we've shown earlier. But again, this is something that you could create with the flakes. You would just get um, a slightly different effect on here. And then we've also got that added um, option of a few different colors of metal in there. So uh, with it being up coming to Easter, I will finish off just with some little wooden eggs that I've painted here. Now I thought it'd be a really cool idea. I, um, I just added with my finger, just a little tiny bit of the 3D adhesive. I'll show you how I added that. Now, I forgot to mention, we do have this lovely protective lid that goes on here that's gonna make your adhesive last much longer. But it's also a great way to just get little bits. I've just added bits with my finger here. I'm just going over the egg like this. And we could have these in an Easter basket, which I will show you in just a second. I'm just going to apply some of my little metallic flakes just to these areas. And that's just going to have add some little elements of silver on these eggs. And just look how great that's looking already. And then it's a simple case of popping these in your Easter display. Here's one I prepped earlier. Like so. So I hope this video has been informative. I really can't wait to see what you guys at home come up with using our flakes. I've had so much fun using them. Uh, the, also the 3D adhesive 
This is something that I'm going to be using every day now. I absolutely love it. And again, can't wait to see what you guys come up with it. And thank you.